What's going on guys, Zonfangamer here, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. You should have just punched him in the throat. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Then when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. It's not pouring. What a joke. There we go. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail, they never tired, they never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruin my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. Fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. There's no reasoning with a man like that. I just wasn't good enough for her. Out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me? Is that it? You 
and shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Let's get the fuck out of this place. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Oh, shit. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. No. I've got this. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. 
now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't? Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Too scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, I, I... I didn't mean to... Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Well, shit. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine, we'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours.
My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Listen, I know you've been through a lot, but you need to help me understand what happened. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you, but there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. I'm here to help you, but you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. gonna do to me they're gonna destroy me aren't they they're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components they have no choice if they want to understand what happened why did you tell them you found me why couldn't you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I, I can't. Why not? Access its memory. I know what happened. What the fuck is it destroying itself? Well, no more Connor then. Great.
you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Thanks, she was a great help. Twat. Gotta hurry. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. That's fucking weird. Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? Rude. I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store. Not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. I'm not going to fucking rob him. He might be a dick, but I'm not going to steal from him. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Okay, Miss Picky. Okay. We'll find somewhere better.
Well, there's a motel, but I doubt we'll be able to get a room because we don't have any money. But it's worth a shot. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. Find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. So I'm guessing my only, only options are to steal from two people in order to sleep in a motel or sleep in a car. I'm going to go with the car, because if I start robbing people, it's only going to cause more trouble anyway. he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. You'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Leave a like and enjoy watching. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye. <laughs> you ain't scared. Yeah.
things that go bump in the night. Me. Uh, I got a zombie army and you can't harm me. Yeah, who do you, who do, bitch? Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you, who do, bitch? Stand up. Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you, who do, bitch? Let's go.